Hi right, guys, today's topic is how to use the CH units in CSS. So I'm going to make a quick demonstration with what you can see here. I'm with CodePen and I'm going to put the link to this pen in the description of this video. But what you see is primarily a main div which has the class wrapper and then uh, item one and item two. Item one has an input text field and item two has the button. Now I have a bunch of uh, CSS styles here, which are not very relevant to this video, but I've covered all the properties I'm using um, in previous tutorials. So you can go ahead, check them out and come back to this video. But the main uh, highlight here is this width equals, or the width is assigned 10 CH. So CH is a relative unit in CSS, just like EMs, for instance. So um, this is very useful for fluid layouts and all that. Now I could substitute that with six EMs and you can see that the uh, layout is almost the same. But the reason why I put 10 CH is more for um, functionality here. So assuming that I have uh, pin numbers, this is a game, let's say this is a game and users have to enter the uh, 10 digit pin numbers and then click on play to be able to proceed and actually uh, play the game. Now you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, and then 10. So 10 digits are showing here. What CH stands for is, um, you can look at CH as character. So it provides space for 10 characters, but not just any characters, for zeros, the zero character. So you can see that here I have 10 digits, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they are all showing. But if I use all zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now you can see that one of the zeros is being hidden. That is because zero is larger than uh, some of the other digits. Uh, now one hack, uh, if you're wondering why I set this to 10 CH and it's not letting me um, see the full 10 characters is because I actually um, enforce that as well. Okay, but I can always take this out and now it's the same thing. So um, although yeah, by default, some browsers will add some padding, I also had some padding in my style. So I've removed them and now you can see I have exactly uh, enough space for 10 digits. What if I said 15? So now I can add five more digits to fill the space. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see I have enough space. So the cool thing here is if at some point in the um, in my layouts, let's say I have I want to cater for different viewport sizes, and I say I want to reduce this font size to two EMs, because it's a relative unit, I'm still going to be able to view all my 10 digits even after I shrink down the size of uh, my elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But the beauty here is I'm not changing the width of the elements. The element is changing, but what I have to change is just the font size. So if I set the font size to one em, now it's even smaller. If I said four em, it's bigger, right? Initially we had it set to five em. So although this is five em, which I believe is equal to having it as eighty pixels because uh, here one EM equals 16 pixels, uh, usually by default. So five EM, if I change the font size, 10 CH is gonna make sure that that input field and this button stretch enough for me to be able to have enough space to still enter 10 CH, 10 characters. No matter how small or how big the font size is, I'm always going to have enough space to enter 10 characters. And not just any characters, I'm talking about zeros. So again, I could have anything. If I said A, B, C, D, E, F, um, G, H, I, I can go all the way, right? And uh, these are letters and they don't take as, uh, as much space in width as um, the zero character. So that's why you always need to keep in mind when we say 10 CH, which is like 10 characters, we are referring to 10 zeros. Okay, and if you don't uh, see anything, let's say you add a bit of uh, padding or, or something, uh, keep in mind, um, if something is hidden, it might be because of a padding issue. So let's go ahead here. Let's just play around with this a little bit. I've added some, some padding of 100 pixels. And now you can see that some of my digits are actually hidden. 
all right so what happens is if i set this i have box size in here right if i set this to content box and have a video dedicated on the box as in the property then you can see that the padding is being added on top of the the width i've set for that element but if i set it to box sizing the 100 pixels um oh sorry um, this is the wrong uh, value it should be a uh, border box border box now the pixels are being added uh, when the width is being calculated so that whole width of 10 ch the uh, 100 pixels on each side are taking a, a piece or a portion of that width that's why they're they are being hidden so careful with your patterns when you're using the uh, ch property in case um, you're wondering why some of your digits get hidden in this case i'm going to remove that we don't need it actually right so uh, this is how it should be by default so i hope you get the idea the quick takeaway here is ch stands for character uh, the number that you um, you set, you associate to with this unit is going to determine how many characters your elements can fit. And also, this is all dependent on the font size and, of course, also the font family that you pick. So when you want to modify the width, just change the font size and uh, the, the width is going to be adjusted dynamically for you. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, make sure, uh, make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notifications and I'll see you next time. Cheers.